to the Flatair site that explains everything. Explains the whole model. Today is the second lesson for Simon Dan and his followers. A science lesson that explains how the Flat Earth works. I'm going to show you how that works, Dan. Sign Man Dan. We have a southern field and we have a northern field. Like that there. And look how they're converging as they turn. They turn together and those lines are all converging. All of the tropics. See how that works, Dan? What kind of shit is that? Like that. That's how it works. It's the convergence point at the tropics. That's what this gap is in the night sky we see. Up there above the equator, Dan. What the hell are you talking about? The intertropical convergence zone. Convergence zone. Hmm. Or ITCZ. In the region that circles the Earth. Circles the Earth. Well, that explains everything. <laughs> that was Simon, Dan. See the high pressure comes down and raises up the low pressure. That's the push and the pull. Drawing the field down to the earth. The magnetic field is the high pressure. Positive equals high pressure. North and south. Low pressure. Negative. The tropics. That's why they're being pulled together because they're being drawn down into the tropics. You understand that, Simon? How about new? Why don't we see all the planets and everything in the northern sky, Dan? They're in this strip out here. The strip, because that centre point, this is the centre point here. Polaris, Sigma Octantis, the sun, the planets are all there. That's the southern view. You don't see this looking down through a vortex. How can you see it all down there amongst all those other stars? It's obvious out here. And the planets are right there in the strip. Right there in the middle. <laughs> Don't know that, do you, Simon Man Dan? You got that, Simon Man? See? It's turning. It's all coming out from the centre, all projected out into our realm. Turns, that turns, it's creating this to turn. You have something turning up here in a bowl, glass bowl, reflection, lights. We see this turning, you get the opposite rotation on this convex curve. It's the same rotation just seen showing stars on a different angle. Cool story, bro. Changed my life. Got that, Dan? These are the magnetic field lines. They curve like that because this field is pulling it. It's all being pulled, turned this way. It's being pulled in. And then it passes down to the tropics. Down and back under the earth, back out here. To come over again go down to the tropics, come out here. The southern magnetic field is the same as the northern magnetic field. Did you know that, Dan? Do I fully understand it? No! Dip compass told us that more than a hundred years ago. They both dip here and there, but they don't dip at the tropics because that's the opposite. That's the opposite to these. That's the magnetic attraction. If you want to talk about magnetic attractions, Opposing force, high pressure, high pressure, low pressure, Dan. You have to understand this, Dan. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. It's a bit complicated for the spinning ballers, but it's quite easy if you open your mind up and dump the spinning ball. It all makes sense. That's all I have to say for Simon Man Dan. So thank God that's over! <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, it's over, right? There's not, there's not more, right? I mean... <laughs>